Good morning. I wish firstly to confirm that our board has decided to freeze all non-committed investments in our Pontevedra biofactory, given the legal uncertainty generated by the change in the state's criteria towards the extension of ENCES concession. The board has also decided to begin engineering work which will allow us to concentrate all investments in our Navia biofactory, thereby maintaining the targets for growth, diversification and financial discipline, which were approved in the Strategic Plan 2019-2023. We are analysing in detail the possibility of doubling the capacity of the next production line plant at Navia, giving it a flexible production capacity of 340,000 tonnes of BHKP or 200,000 tonnes of dissolving pulp. The investment needed is around 450 million euros, which fits perfectly within our strategic plan investment budget for this business. Our view of the pulp market over the next few years continues to be positive, due to the absence of any large projects which might increase capacity in the industry. The first project confirmed, that of Arauco in Chile, will not be operational until the second half of 2021, and the UPM project in Uruguay has not yet been confirmed. First quarter results are in line with what we expected. Renewable energy business EBITDA improved by 49%, reaching 13 million euros. Pulp business EBITDA is down 28% to 39 million euros. As we anticipated, this quarter was affected by the negative effect of exchange rate settlements by a higher percentage of sport market sales outside Europe and by the increase in inventories ahead of the scheduled shutdown of the Navia biofactory during the second quarter, which will be longer than usual due to the expected capacity increase of 80,000 tonnes. Free cash flow generation improved by 36% to 39 million euros. This has allowed us to finance partially the strategic plan investments, which totaled 87 million euros in the quarter. In the renewable energy business, we continue with the construction of two new biomass plants with a combined capacity of 96 megawatt. This will begin to operate at the end of the year and will increase EBITDA in this business by approximately 30 million euros per year. In the pulp business, we have completed the first phase of the Pontevedra Biofactory's capacity expansion of 20,000 tonnes. The 80,000 tonnes Nadia Biofactory expansion will follow during the second quarter. After this important investment effort, the group net debt to EBITDA ratio stands at 1.4 times at the end of the quarter, with a leverage of 0.8 times in the pulp business and 3.5 times in the renewable energy business. May I conclude by reiterating our confidence that the execution of the strategic plan will boost the group's EBITDA to around 300 million euros in 2019 in line with the target set with the current pulp price scenario. Thank you.